Jojo! It's on fire! <laughs> Is it steaming? <laughs> That's from the kitchen. All right, ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. Let's roll. There they are. There they are. Oh, uh, there's. First place. Thanks, Seth. I love you, hon. How was that track? They pushed. All right, folks. If you're racing with headphones, you're rocking out to our music. Keep a little low so you can hear other racers next to you. Get some help out there. We got the Memphis County Search and Rescue out here. Watch our backs today. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Five. Get ready to ring the bell, Joseph. Yeah. Oh. What do you need? Water? Blanket? For you too. <laughs> There's an icicle on your ear. Yeah. What do you need? I need clothes. Clothes? Right. This for now? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll. Or I'll come with you. Okay. There's yeah. an icicle on my ear. Yeah. Yeah. It also might be a booger. <laughs> I'd be sad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It got crazy. Oh my gosh. It got crazy. Babe, it was snowing. I hope, Five, everyone, ten, yeah, four, four, I hope everyone's, job, man. I hope everyone's job, okay out there. Oh man! It's a little crazy How out there. How do you have a feeling? Uh, you get a photo, it could be the thumbnail, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the craziest racing of my life. <laughs> I'll tell you about it back at the house once we warm up. The shoes tell the story. The shoes tell the story. Wow. It got a little crazy. Oh man. Woo! I won't tell you the place yet. Tell you back of the house, but the bottom line, we survived. Two loves here. He crushed it. He got yeah. second place. <laughs> Go good, man. A hot coffee. Yeah. And I'm the fucking flapjack and the man. Oh my gosh, she's like. And I could. I mean, is it for everyone? Okay. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> How was it? Awesome. It's going to be on YouTube. What's up? Uh, good. A little cold? That was a little crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. You kind of, you just...
Flipping flapjacks, crushing it. <laughs> Woo! The secret sauce right here. Here he is. <laughs> secret sauce. <laughs> oh, we're just trying to stay warm. Butter my bread, butter my bread, oh my my. Okay, haven't cleaned up yet, obviously, since the race. Oh my goodness, what a day. Got a little wild out there, folks. Got a little wild. Let me set this down. Oh man. Pancakes after the race, pancakes during the race. A little mud pancake. That's right, folks. It got a little testy out there. Got a little testy. Okay, looking at Strava. Here we go. 13.1 miles. Uh, average, average 610 per mile. Uh, my time was one hour, 20 minutes, and I think my watch was a little off because I think it was about 35 seconds, but essentially one hour, 20 minutes, and 1,600 feet of vertical gain. The highest point of elevation was 6,400 feet. So, you know, we're not running at sea level here in Denver, Colorado. And essentially my fastest mile was mile four, it was a 530 mile for the average, yeah, 530 mile. And then the slowest mile was mile eight, where we gained about 197 feet of vertical, and that was a 702 mile. So I actually feel pretty good about that. I did glance down at my watch at about mile four and on a downhill section, and it was it's it said 445 pace. So we were moving, like we were moving, Joe and I. And I'm gonna talk about Joe here in a second, Joe Gray, a world-class mountain runner. So Bottom line, guys, I told you yesterday that I would be surprised if I was not in the lead at mile one or two because I was going to take it out hard and hang on. Well, I did take it out hard. However, what I did not tell you is that I called my brother last night, who's also a big runner, Joseph, and essentially I told my brother on the phone, I think I can win unless two guys show up. So there's two guys in Colorado that I've been competing against for a long time in the mountain ultra trail running scene. Andy Wacker, a former teammate of mine at the University of Colorado, and who's an amazing runner, and Joe Gray, who showed up today. Joe Gray, I believe he ran at Oklahoma State in college, and we're basically the exact same age. Essentially, it's um, we've been battling it out. In fact, let's take a little trip down memory lane. This was the summer of 2017 at the Pikes Peak Descent. Stars is like while we're waiting for you guys. Isn't that exciting? Win is um. There you go. There we were sharing the podium. I took third in that race. He took first. Joe Gray. Fast forward nine months to June 2018. Zero, Seth Demore. Seth, you out there? Come on up, Seth. 
Second is actually right over here. Hop up there. That's uh, a second. Move that on over to the third. And then first place, winner, winner, chicken dinner of the overall. There he is right there. Give it up for Joseph Gray. 46 minutes, 39 and change. I tell you what, it's just an honor to have Joseph up here. And he's chomping at the bit, folks. That's right. That race was five months ago, the GoPro Mountain Games. It was a 10K race in Vail, Colorado, which is basically 8,000 feet. And it was only a 10K. I think he got me that day by about 90 seconds. I'd have to go back and look. Bottom line, okay, and, and there you go. You see the podium. He was first. I was second. And we're battling. Like, we're battling. And it's so fun to basically have competition uh, at all of these races. Now, I, I knew I could win if Andy Wacker or Joe Gray did not show up. And sure enough, there's Joe. There's good, you know, Joe showing up. So it's fun. It's great to compete. And we duked it out. Like he, he basically had the lead the entire way. He did have the lead the entire way. But I could see him even at like mile nine. I think I was maybe 90 seconds back. So he wasn't too far. I, he ended up beating me by, I think, about three minutes. I, I haven't even seen the official results on, online yet. It was amazing. And, oh, not to mention, uh, why was my why are my shoes completely socked in mud? Essentially, at mile nine and a half to ten, so three miles to go, it, it basically turned into fight for your life because it was whiteout conditions. The snow came in sideways. I, was, I told True Love after the race, like I could feel the snow. It wasn't snow, it was like pellets of snow entering into my eardrum and puncturing my eardrum is what it felt like. Like sideways snow, white out for about 10 to 15 minutes. So about two miles of the race. And for a minute there, I thought, hmm, I'm gonna die out here. Okay, this is how we're gonna go. This is how we're gonna go, big man. Take me, take me. It was insane. Uh, but I mean, I was, I, I truly, but I told myself if I stop, this is going to get really dangerous because I could feel my, my, my nose, my face, my fingers, every, cause I didn't have a hat on, like a, a winter hat. I could feel myself going numb and slightly hypothermic to a certain extent. I felt horrible for everyone behind me who, you know, it's like they still had an hour of racing. Oh, anyway, it was insane. It was a great race. I got second. Uh, Joe, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. So uh, it was fun also, of course, to get to know the competitors. That's one of the best parts of racing. Kudos to all the runners. Shout out to Alex, who uh, I met, and Jeff. Jeff as well, who has recently discovered the videos. Jeff, if you see this, thanks for saying hello. And Alex, it was fun to share stories. And uh, yes, we need to run soon. We need to run soon in Denver. Oh, and by the way, I didn't get lost this year. I didn't get lost. That's good news. I got lost last year with like two miles to go. I was leading and I got lost anyway, but I didn't get lost. All right, keyword of the day. What is it? You know what it is. Mud. Good old mud. Oh man, look at that shoe. Now this is not all from the race. This is a little bit walking around afterward as well, of course, but mud is the key word. And the question of the day, I just, I don't know, since we're in a racing mood, what is your goal, race, and or distance to race in 2019? A lot of you guys are asking me, like, what is, what am I, what's my game plan to get ready for a road marathon? And uh, I don't have a game plan yet. I'm formulating it right now. It's November. It is not too early to, to start plotting for next year goal races, whether it's by location, by distance, by, um, I don't know, scener scenery, like what, yeah, what is your goal race or your goal distance? And this connects to tomorrow's vlog. Come back tomorrow because it's going to be all about the New York City Marathon. That's right. I'm excited to uh, watch that with you guys. All right. You guys rock. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button and answering the question of the day and just being you. And whoo, what a crazy, crazy experience we just went through, huh? Chalk it up to running. Chalk it up to running. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here.